What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy GlitcherBro23 here. Hey, man, happy Thanksgiving. And I told you guys this was coming, man. We got more from Immortal Technique, from the Revolutionary, Volume 2, Mixtape album. I'm leaning more towards a mixtape because I have heard doing those last two reactions earlier. Um, there were some samples in there, both Pinocchio sample, uh, the instrumental itself on the... Um, on that track, I feel like could have been a sample as well. But then they're on the hook of the, uh, of the, God, what was the name of the previous track that I just reacted to? I don't think it was the, it wasn't the Freedom of Speech, it was the other one. There sounded like there was a, a chorus that sampled some other rapper. You know what I mean? But hey, man, we got two more Immortal Technique reactions today, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are one more Immortal Technique in the future, y'all know what to do by this point, man. Hit that like button if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and my reaction to it. By the end of the video, you guys want to join my Discord, The Glitcher Gang? Link will be down below in the description. But other than that, man, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Um, we finna check this out, man. The Industrial Revolution. Now... This is kind of pissing me off because this is the second track where I know Tech Immortal is finna get like he's finna teach us a history lesson. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't pay attention to history class. The fact that I got by in AP history last year, it, it surprises me. But also last year was the year of COVID, so we didn't get taught nothing. Let's get it. The day of the Geechee is gone, boy. And you going with it. Yeah, nigga. Immortal technique. Metaphysics. The bling bling ever was cute, but it's about to be done. I'll leave you full of clips like the moon blocking the sun. My metaphors are dirty like herpes, but harder to catch. Like an escape tunnel in prison. I started from scratch, and now these parasites. Like an escape tunnel from prison. I started from scratch. You know, they got scratched their way through the walls, through the floor. Come on, man. Come on. And then there was a line about something related to Herbie's, but him being harder to catch. Like an escape tunnel in prison, I started from scratch. And now these parasites want to percent of my ass cap. Try to control perspective like an acid flashback. But here's a quotable for every single record exec. Get your fucking hands out my pocket, nigga, like Malcolm X. But this ain't a movie, I'm not a fan or a groupie. And I'm not the type of cat you can afford to miss if you shoot me. Curse the heavens and laugh when the sky electrocutes me. Immortal technique stuck in your thoughts, darkening dreams. No one's as good as me, they just got better marketing schemes. I'll lead you to your own dis said darker than dreams it would have made more sense if he said nightmares right there not even gonna lie like saying that he's like darker more scary or more of a threat than nightmares I think that would have made more sense I know it works either way but I think it would have made more sense if he said nightmares than that um in that punchline that's just personally me a fan or a groupie and I'm not the type of cat you can afford to miss if you shoot me curse the heavens and laugh when the sky electrocutes me immortal techniques stuck in your thoughts darkening dreams no one's as good as me they just got better marketing schemes I'll lead you to your own destruction like spark and a fiend cause you got jealousy in your voice like Starscream and that's the primary reason that I hate y'all faggots I've been nice since niggas got killed over eight he said y'all got jealousy and that's basically the reason why like, I hate y'all. Y'all are jealous of my success, what I've done in my life, what I've worked hard for. You know what I mean? Like, and there's always going to be people like that. There are always going to be people like that. And, and it really does go to show the one saying is very true. True. Money doesn't change you. It changes the people around you. You know what I mean? Because it does change, changes who you are. It makes you see the world differently. Um... But it really shows you who's loyal in your circle when you start getting money. You know what I mean? Will they stick with you? Uh, whether you say yes or no, or will they leave you or try to rob you as soon as they can? You know what I mean? I think we all know that by this point, but has to be said.
reason that I hate y'all faggots I've been nice since niggas got killed over eight bull jackets And Reebok pumps that didn't do shit for the sneaker I'm a heat seeker with features that'll reach through the speaker And murder counter revolutionaries personally Break a thermometer and force feed his kids mercury A&R's tried jerking me thinking they call shots Offered me a deal and a blanket full of smallpox You're all getting shot, you little fucking treacherous bitches There is vulgarness in his voice and Absolutely. This Enjoy is it. the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free. And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company. You could call it reparations or restitution. Lock and load, nigga. Industrial revolution. <laughs> I want 53 million dollars for my college stands Like the Bush administration gave to the Taliban And fuck ah. back and grams, nigga Learn this ah. The political bars are just There is a series like it's, I don't want to say the whole album Is revolved around politics Cause I don't think it really is. More so of these tracks are revolved around politics compared to other ones because this is the same album that has that You Never Know track, you know, and that has nothing to do with politics, but these last few have been very political or been talking about real life issues, you know, and the You Never Know was really a serious issue, but that was probably the most personal track so far that I've heard from Immortal, you know what I mean? So, um... But it kind of makes sense, especially when you really break down the cover art of this album. You can tell this is like a curtain that hangs in the White House. And um, I, don't, I don't know necessarily what this is. This almost seems like it's a like a box TV hanging from the wall. But you also see bullet holes everywhere too. So just something to think about. You know what I mean? Just uh, hearing tracks like these and the overall th theme that's been consistent throughout the not only the tracks but maybe possibly through the album itself you know what I mean so I want 53 million dollars for my college stands like the Bush administration gave to the Taliban and fuck packing grams nigga learn to speak and behave you want to spend 20 years as a government slave two million no. people in prison keep the government paid stuck in a six by eight cell alive in the grave I was made by revolution to speak to the masses deep in the club toast the truth reach for your glasses I'll burn an orphanage just to bring heat to you bastards innocent mm. deep in the casket Colombian fashion intoxicated off the flow like thugs passion you motherfuckers will never get me to intoxicated off the flow like thugs passion is that a Tupac reference I want to say that is but at the same time I just I think you just talk about thugs passion in general not necessarily the track because if I'm not mistaken that thugs passion track is like a like almost like a sex song, you know what I mean? So I don't think it's a reference to Pac. But shout out to Pac back there, man. Rest in peace. Colombian fashion intoxicated off the flow like thugs passion. You motherfuckers will never get me to stop blasting. You better off asking oh, Ariel Sharon for compassion. You better off begging for 20 points from a label. You better off battling cancer under telephone cables. Technique chemically unstable, set to explode. Foretold by the Dead Sea Scrolls written in code. So if your message ain't shit, fuck the records you sold. If you go platinum, it's got nothing to do with luck. It just means that a million people are stupid as fuck. Stuck in the Ooh. underground. If you happen to go platinum, it has nothing to do with luck. It just means a million people are just stupid as... Wow. And this is when this album was released. This was before the digital era. So he's talking about a million people or a million cop physical copies of an album being sold. Wow. That's just... Wow, man. See, I never knew what the actual like numbers were to go platinum, but I think it's different nowadays with the uh, streaming era, but million million copies of a record sold it gets you platinum it doesn't seem like a lot when you say it out loud in today's era but a million cop like physical copies of an album like it can happen in other regions but you don't get 
you don't get a platinum record from other regions. It has to be specific areas. So you have to sell to get platinum in the U.S. You have to sell a million copies. To get platinum in the U.K., you have to sell a million copies in the U.K. You know what I mean? So just something to think about for anyone who's you know who's thinking, oh, it's easy to get a million platinum or a million records sold. Yeah, in the streaming area, it is. But back then. And this was even like back then. This is just because streaming. When did streaming become popular? Like mid two two thousand tens, like so. Just something to think about. Something to really think about. Go platinum. It's got nothing to do with luck. It just means that a million people are stupid as fuck, stuck in the underground in general. That rose to the limit without distribution. Manager is a dealer a gimmick. Revolutionary Volume Two. Murder the critics and leave your fucking body rotten for the roaches and crickets. <laughs> This is the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free. And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company. You could call it reparations or restitution. Lock and load, nigga. Industrial revolution. So another very interesting track, uh, Immortal kind of talks about the um, insides of basically the music industry itself once again. Um, very interesting. I really did um, like the concept of it. And I like how almost all these tracks seem to be going hand in hand with each other in a way, you know. Um, and definitely a very bold comparison to compare this music industry as the industrial revolution I think is a very bold comparison but someone like Immortal can say that because of how truthfully honest he really is with his fan base whether they agree or disagree with him you know what I mean um, cause he is a, he seems to be the way he keeps talking about labels and stuff like that it seems to me like he is like an independent underground artist you know under I, I figured he was an underground artist for sure but it, it seems like he really is just independent and maybe that's why he doesn't have such a huge discography you know what I mean so um but very interesting track absolutely loved it let me know what you guys thought about that in the comment section down below we got one more immortal technique reaction coming out later today so stay tuned for that man I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and my reaction to it. If you guys want to join the Glitcher Gang Discord, link will be down low in the description. But other than that, man, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope y'all stay safe. Eat well. Don't, don't, go, don't be obese, but eat well. And I'll see you guys next time.